back today. So today we're unboxing the brand new Ipsy Glam Bag X. I mean, I'm kind of excited about this just because there's been so much hype and build up about this box. And Ipsy, I mean, they change it up all the time. You gotta give them credit. They don't come out with just one subscription box. They come out with three. And then on top of it, they're like, you know what? We're gonna get rid of this one. Now we're gonna do this. Now we're gonna do this. And I mean, there's always things going on over at Ipsy. They're always changing things up. So Ipsy, this new version is where they are collaborating with somebody to feature different products inside of this box. And the idea behind it is that you're going to be receiving eight products in it that are full size products. They're going to be high end brand name products. So those are things that I'm looking for is like, where's our value at in this box? Is it really worth what they're saying it's worth? Um, we're going to look at all of those different things. This is the most expensive beauty box that I have now. $55 for it, free shipping. But when you add up with the taxes, it was over $60 that came out of my bank account for this one box. Now it is a quarterly subscription. Thank the heavens because Lord, I don't know if I can handle a $60 beauty box every single month, but we're going to open it up and see the eight products that are inside of this box. Mine is super late and you might be wondering like, why is she just now uploading this at the end of the month for February? Let me tell you, Ipsy made it incredibly difficult for me to get my hands on one of these boxes. So I was signed up, I was on the list. I mean, I joined right away when they announced it. And then about a week before February 1st, the last week of January, I got an email that said, you're no longer enrolled. We took you off the membership. And I was like, what? So I ended up contacting Ipsy and told them that I'm like, I think I was hacked. Something happened. I don't know why I was taken off of this list. I didn't request it. So by the time they got me back on and everything working, I was way behind all the other people unboxing this box. So if you're here watching my video today, thank you for watching. It's still late in the game. I greatly appreciate it. I still want to share this box with you guys and my thoughts on the whole new Glam Bag X. So this is our Glam Bag X box. It's a little different than they've had before. It's this nice purple. I don't know if they're going to change that every time or if that's just for now. We'll have to see. Inside is all of our products. And there is like a newspaper of sorts in here that talks about this Glam Bag X as well. Now, the person that they were collaborating with on this was Patrick Ta, who has, he's so known for the glowy look. And he actually has a whole bunch of tutorials on how to use all the products on the Ipsy website. So this is him making front page news. And we also have Halsey that dropped some of her products this month as well. So I'm really excited because I do have one of hers in here, the About Face. This is kind of cute. Like I'm just over here reading my beauty newspaper. I kind of like it. It's fun for something different. The first item that I have inside of my box is from Tula Skincare. This is the probiotic skincare line and it's called Rose Glow and Get It. It is their cooling brightening eye gel. So I've tried the traditional version of this, but this one having the rose in it is slightly different than the other one that I've tried. But this is a $30 product. It is a balm. It is a four-in-one where it will cool, brighten, hydrate, and minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles by use of probiotics and plant oils. So then the other product I have is from R & Co. This is the Teacup Peach Align Kombucha Detox Rinse. This is a really good hair care brand. They're vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and it's really good products for your hair. I find that it's very clean and they work well. $32 for this rinse. It is a post wash and it will give you shinier, healthier hair because it uses kombucha to remove any dulling tap water minerals. It will help to detangle your hair as well and then also to give you a nourishing look. So I'm excited to try this. I've never tried it before, but I've tried other products from that line and I really like those. So then we have in here from Babe Lash. This is the Essential Serum. This is the six month supply. They come in a three month box and I know because I've purchased it, but this one is actually the six month one. So I do like that we received the larger version of them. So this is $120. 
it's very, very expensive, but it does work. So this essential serum is for your lashes and it will give you longer, fuller lashes. It will give you length and volume them. I have never paid that much for this product, but the fact that it's in this box, I was like, that is amazing because this product is amazing. And since it's the six month version, it's going to last you for so long. And truthfully, I guess $120 if you break it up over six months probably wouldn't be that bad, but all at once, I'm glad I got it inside of this box. So we've definitely made back the value already of what I've paid. So next product then that I have is from the About Face. This is the Halsey line I was talking to you about. This is the Matte Paint Lip Color, and I have the shade Take Aim. Really excited to try this. I received in the other box, my Ipsy Plus, I received the brown color, but look at this. Isn't this cute? I'm so excited to try this color. It's very bright. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. It's very matte, very dark. Oh, but it's so pretty. It's like a mulberry color, very dark pink. That is gorgeous. I do find it is so matte and it does stay on. It's not going anywhere either, which is really awesome. $22 is the MSRP on this product I have from Patrick Ta himself. This is the Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush. Look at this packaging, you guys. So bougie and extra. So this one says she's passionate on it. And there is a mirror inside, and then here is our blush. This is a very complimentary blush, so I do think it's a good color choice. I think it will work with a lot of skin tones as well. I love this big pan. You can pick up a lot of product. I mean, you can hold it. There's a lot of room to work with. Sometimes you'll get blush pans that are really small to receive any product on it, but this you will not have a problem with at all. So I'm really happy about that. So this product is $32 for this velvet blush and it will give you a fresh lit from within skin look. So then I received from Complex Culture, this is the Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. So this is Ipsy's line, this Complex Culture. And I've had really good products from them before, so I'm okay with that. Uh, but I've, I've never used anything like this. So I'm not really sure how to even use this. There is instructions, thankfully, but I'm like, yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm doing with this T-Bar. This is $58 if you wanted to purchase it. It is a sonic face massage all in this tool. Just glide it over your skin to help reduce puffiness, relieve tension, and sculpt your features as well. Okay, so I'll be curious to try this. I do love this rose gold look. And it does look very expensive. It's very heavy and very weighted. So um, I will be curious to see how this works. If you guys have tried it, definitely comment down below and let me know if you like it or not. But $58 does sound expensive. But then again, if it's a good working tool, it would be worth it then. Okay, now moving on, we have two final products. This one is from Pat McGrath Labs. I gotta tell you guys, when I heard Pat McGrath was going to be in this, I was like, oh my gosh, those products are so expensive. It would make this box worth it. I'm a little disappointed that was what we got. I was hoping for, you know, eyeshadow, any kind of palette would have been great, but we received mascara and it comes in this like blue package here. It is the Extreme Black Mascara. And I mean, I'm excited to try it. Don't get me wrong. I am excited. I just was a little let down because I was hoping for more palette oriented line. And I know we already got a palette. We'll get there to it. But I don't know. Maybe it was just me. I think I had my hopes up for something great and it was just kind of average. This mascara is $30 for it. It is a cult favorite and it says that it will give you a buildable formula to make you a pro artist. There will be zero clumps and zero flakes as well with this mascara. So I am excited to see how it works for me because like I said, I've never tried it before. This 
I was also equally excited for. This is the Huda Beauty palette. It's the Rose Gold Remastered Edition. So I love Huda products. I absolutely love the palettes. I am obsessed with her setting powder formula. It works so well. So I'm thrilled to receive this palette. And this is definitely something that belongs in this box. I mean, look at this packaging. Isn't that just stunning? Now, if you wanted to purchase this palette, it's $65, you guys. 18 shadows inside of here. And there is a mirror. There's a little card, classic Huda card. But look at these foiled shadows. Aren't they gorgeous? Highly pigmented. They last so long. You've got some mattes on here as well and so many different shadows to work with. But they are gorgeous. So I... I mean, overall, you guys, I knew when I first saw this as a spoiler for this box, I was like, I have to have this box because this palette is amazing. So I definitely think Ipsy, this is a step up. This is not something you would have found in any of their other Ipsy boxes. So I am glad that Ipsy rose to the occasion with it. Um, the hard part is, is when you throw out names like Patrick Ta and Huda and Pat McGrath, the level of expectation is so high. And we all have our hopes up for these really great products. And so I hope Ipsy can continue to do that. That is my only fear is they've leveled it up and said, we're going to be at this level. And my fear is that they're going to come down really low and not give us these high end brand products. I hope they do it. I really do. I think this box is so cool with all the products that we do have inside of it that I loved it. I thought it was great. I'm okay paying $60 if they can continue to bring these high-end items. So comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the Glam Bag X. This is the first one. And like I said, it's quarterly. We're going to continue to get it and check it out. Hopefully I'll be able to open it up sooner for you guys. But tell me what your thoughts are about this box and if you would spend $60 on it. All right, guys, I will chat with all of you in a future unboxing video. Have a safe, fantastic rest of the day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!